Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Look at the temperature map. We're in the mid 20s right now, much lower than our temperatures have been the last couple of days. So if you're doing anything outside anywhere you are in the Wabash Valley this morning. It's not very comfortable and you know, it feels much more like winter uh, compared to the spring like conditions we've had the last several days and expect this to continue even in the afternoon. We have the clear sky on our storm tracker. This is going to lead to sunny conditions throughout the rest of the day and that sunlight will improve temperatures a little bit. But by the end of the day, we're only in the 40s, so we're going from 20s now, 40s later. You'll notice either one of these not very comfortable. And you know, over the last several days, we've been in the 60s. So just make sure you bundle up heading outdoors. If you absolutely have to work outside today, it's going to feel a lot more like February than it has been all month. And over the course of the afternoon, again, we're going to warm up, but lower 40s with sunlight still not going to be that comfortable for this part of the year, but you don't have to get used to it. We are going to see temperatures climb all weekend long and you can see on our future cast. Even if you do have to be outside today, look how clear the future cast is. We're going to see sunny conditions. That direct sunlight is going to help a little bit with how comfortable you are outside and off and on clouds are going to try to pass through here. Nothing major. You can see this band of cloud cover over the course of the afternoon here. Start of the evening. This is five over the course of the night, that's when clouds are going to arrive and we are going to start to see more significant changes. And you can see out here to the west, once these clouds do move in, you can see to the north, some light snowflakes possible. Uh, down to the south, some maybe raindrops. Right down the middle, a little bit of both. That pink color there, maybe uh, snowflakes, raindrops falling at the same time. The thing is, this is going to be so light. The main impact is actually going to be cloud cover. Look how fast it moves through here. So by tomorrow morning, you're not really dealing with any of this. We have cloud cover and we have uh, off and on clouds, partly sunny conditions, but our temperatures are still going to rise quite a bit after uh, these clouds try to leave. And you can see over the course of the afternoon, we have plenty of sunlight, bands of clouds that we can't completely get rid of, but temperatures are going to start to increase over the course of these next couple of days. So even though it is 40s today, it is uncomfortably cold uh, compared to the last several days. You don't have to get used to it. Like I said, we're already in for a spring like warm up beginning tomorrow. So we're in the lower 30s tonight. It's a cool start. Temperatures in the lower 50s tomorrow. Partly sunny skies. The winds start to die down a little bit. And our seven day forecast shows temperatures near 60 on Sunday. So that that didn't take very long. <laughs> temperatures are already back to above normal levels. And then we're going to be in the upper 60s, which is going to feel nice. But you're going to work around showers, thunder showers Monday. And even after these pass through here, bringing in cooler air, even though we are in for another cool down next week, you know, temperatures are still going to be warmer than normal and we're going to be in the lower 60s on Wednesday.